Hey, what up, guys? I'm first right here again. It can sniper, and let's go. So, this is a night flight uh, in Accra, and today I got good fight right here. I've got my brothers. I've met with the top first uh, Ghanaian traders here in Accra, and uh, we have got Victoria Scrum here, <laughs> and of course, we got the top guy in Ghana, but Lamborghini at 24. Look at you, guys. <laughs> Trust me, this is they are fun to be with, and uh, they are just people you want to hang out with. So I'm bringing them on this live YouTube video, so you can learn or get some advice from them, and uh, to help uh, your trading career as well. We have got uh, Elvis Justice right here, and Futurist Cohen. You know the vibe, like went up to first without connect, like it's always crazy, like this, like this. That person will be sharing uh, life's mind together. There's nothing best feeling more than that. So yesterday, oh sorry. On Saturday, if it's just since yeah, created history with these guys, with this team, right? In Ghana, like I witnessed it and I must tell you like this is like uh, one of the best events I ever seen happen, right? So he came all the way from Russia uh two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, because he left uh what, what when did you, you, uh, you left Ghana when? I left Ghana five years ago, came back just to tour around. I'm touring around the world, so Ghana was part of the plan. We just came back, I did it with my big brother, Futurist, and you know, just touring Ghana, educating the people, impacting lives. You know, we, we still have other events left. By the way, this Futurist right here is a big man, you <laughs> see, he got a verified account. Like, you know, no trade has easily got that in Africa, but like, he has got a verified account. And yet, uh, Every I'm on not Saturday. verified, but I will be verified. <laughs> <It's so good>. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like this people are not capable; they are not playing. Bro. So, you know, so uh, I think he go back to Ghana just to do like uh, he give back to his people because he grew up here before going back to Russia. And I must tell you, like that's one thing like uh, could ever come to anybody's mind. That's a very great one. And. I can see the youth turn up for this event. Like the crowd was massive, was massive. Like it's crazy. So they are here on this uh, YouTube video just to uh, share their few things with you guys. You can learn from them and also get to benefit a lot from them. If you want to easily connect with them, uh, I'm sure they put up. Uh, Every since I've got a YouTube channel video whereby he shares his live analysis. I used to watch his YouTube video, bro. Sometimes, like you know. Uh, where he shares free trades analysis with people and all, and you can check him out basically. So, bro, yeah, how long have you been trading now? I've been trading for five years now, four or five years. I, I always say four, but let's say four years and some months. Oh, damn. You've been trading for just four years and you got a Lamborghini Euros. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's a process, yeah. So that means. It, does that mean like people have to trade for four years to get love with you? No, no, it's 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 made that that's my that's my journey. It fits into me. You know how I got into trading? But let me tell let me share a story to you guys. Okay. You know, I'm a medical student. Let's say I'm done with med school. Six years I started get I started trading two years into med school. So you can understand how I was able to combine, you know, med school and trading. Right, so my first my first year was total rubbish, right? Total rubbish, you know. Getting into this, you know, how I really made all these monies is try to them. Tell them, tell them. Try to them. Pray. She was the way. Pray. <laughs> right. So yeah. So I've I've been trading for four four years and some months. You know, second year med school that's when I started getting into trading, reading a lot of books, watching a lot of YouTube videos, you know, but man, those stuff... May you know, I ask, your first year, were you so consistent? No, 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 I wouldn't want to lie, I've blown a, a lot of accounts, and I still blow an account, I mean, even if I want to blow an account. I, 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 got, I mean, like, consistent, like, straight one year, you were trading, even though you're you know, let, account. This, this is what happened to me, when I got into trading, it was fun. Yeah. I was making money, so I felt like this was good for me but you know it got to a point I, I think it was the beginner kind of you know euphoria you yeah. know when you start to get into this you're making money you know you, you you think it's easy then you get to a, a level and you lose everything <laughs> you have to come and restart it, it now you're, you lose your psychology what have you so that, that happened to me the first day was totally total, total rubbish the first month was good 
but as it's kept on going on, man. Okay, so if I may ask, yeah, what, what has been your biggest challenge yeah, and what was the solution to that challenge? You know, remember, I'm, took... I'm very sure people watching this video, if you're a newbie or probably you're even an intermediate, you must have got challenges and you need the solution or you need a clue to how you can pass it. So let him share that there to us, bro. Mm. When I started, I took loans to trade, which was a very bad idea. Very bad idea. You know, losing my money, losing someone's money, man, how are you going to trade? You, you lose your psychology. So my my kind of challenge wasn't, you know, a it was a challenge that I brought to myself. So I want to tell people that don't take loans. That's how I got into it. Don't take loans to, or don't take anyone's money to, you know, trade. Because if you lose it, bro, you lose your psychology. You, you, should, you, should, pen, you should pen this down, right? You should pen this particular point down, right? One of the lessons here is never borrow money to trade or never, uh, Use your school fee money to trade. I'm sure people must have been asking that kind of question. Can I, can I get a loan to do that? Yep. Of course. I, I think that's a very bad idea that because do you wouldn't trade with peace. Exactly. With that money. And if you end up losing it, you're going to be depressed. <laughs> I don't want to end up with that. You yeah. wouldn't that have the kind so, of mental. If I may ask you, bro, how long have you been trading though? Um, I bought my first book in 2014. 2014? Yes, yeah, so Jesus. I never knew what was for this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's like eight, nine years. Eight, nine years ago. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, and, and I'm, I'm more a crypto person than the stocks. This, this, this guy is, is the. Is the forex person? I'm, I'm more a crypto person. I know, I know every stupid trading indices. Yes, that's it. Like I'm a, a stock guy, in fact, you know, forex guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a crypto guy. guy. So one, one, one thing about trading is. I know him to be a US 30 lender yeah. because that's what I'm only seeing on this profile. You guys are basically US 30, right? And yeah, crypto back to back, but you love me like more of currency, yeah. right? So, one thing about traders, yeah, we all got different aspects we all focus on, Absolutely. right? So, when I tell people like um, there's money in the market generally, right? It does not stop one person from making money, it does not stop anybody from making money, you know, and we can all make this money, wherever you want to focus on. If you find that at the end of the day, we still do kind of similar thing, right? We just use the same, probably the different platform, but we still apply like similar ways in making this money, right? Like, oh, okay, as I have said earlier, each of the US 30, Forex and crypto, they are all trading, right? Whatever you want to do, you can start now. So you started trading 2014. Yep. What has been your biggest challenges so, um, in the crypto space? Well, it's, well, the first is that a lot of people thought crypto was a scam, <laughs> so it wasn't. It wasn't. So we tell me it's not a scam now. <laughs> um, uh, can we check our wallet balance? You know, <laughs> whether that's scam or not, scam. But no, crypto is not a scam. I don't think any of the financial markets are a scam. You made the point in your speech. Yeah, oh, well, you said you were not even going to prove it to them. <laughs> no, um, whatever they want. It was, yeah, was Yao Swinger who made the point. Um, but it's not a scam. So that was one of the greatest challenges. The second was in the beginning, there were no um, exchanges. We didn't have Binance and the likes. There was only one blockchain. And they used to steal people's Bitcoin. They would lock you out of your account. I, I was locked out of my account like two or three times. Oh, wow. So there was an infrastructural challenge. Um, and there was no community of traders. We didn't have this. We couldn't connect. Back then. Share ideas. You know, it was too new. Nobody. It was really the the street boys who were using Bitcoin to buy credit cards and stuff. So it wasn't really. Um, and then maybe later on, just the, the challenge of, for me, and probably that's the reason I'm excited to be on tour with him. Not enough young people paying attention to this as a way of making money. That, that for me was a concern. If I could relate well, that means like, when we all started, let's say we all, because I started like 2016, yes. right? When we all started, it's kind of a knowledge journey yeah. and we don't have people who can relate. We, yep. we will never see a board of traders yep. like this in Africa, ever. sitting together or top traders. Probably there might be people making money, but we never need them. Nobody can sit from help. But you have these guys here, yeah, they are willing to help them. Like the event he did, I just knew that this guy got people in mind. And you know, that's, that's one of the major things. So if I ask you, Elvis, yeah, what has been your uh biggest motivation ever like to go to keep up in this and never give up because i know you must have had a lot of downside yeah. of course everybody has downside in the market so what has been your biggest motivation you know my my biggest motivation was you know i you know i'm a, i'm the kind of guy that i don't want to depend on anyone you know i don't like depending on anyone calling mom calling dad so i just wanted to do something for myself and live the kind of life that 
I don't need to depend. Like it's just like the nine to five. I'm, I'm not saying nine to five is not. I'm also doing nine to nine to five now. I would maybe I probably do nine to five. But the the kind of being is it's just like you are being rude. You, you get me like that kind of You're being feeling controlled. controlled. I don't like that. So I feel like you are just needed. If this is online, I can just pick up my phone. Get into a trade, make some money or make some losses. At least I know I'm controlling what my money on my my pocket. So that was the biggest, you know, motivation. And I always tell people this. You want to say something? In like in overall, what you're trying to say is that freedom. The freedom, exactly. So that's the point there. Freedom, right? So that means you're telling trading gives you that freedom. Yes, that was the biggest motivation. You know, getting into this thing, doing things your way. You know, because. You can't control. You, you you can only control. You are the you are the one going to control your trade. Right. Yeah. You if you want to close it, you close it. If you want to withdraw it, you yeah, withdraw yeah. it. That's freedom. Yeah. But you know, with these jobs that everyone is doing, you have to now wait for a monthly salary. It could be in two weeks. It could be in three weeks. Sometimes they tell you that there's no funds. Wait for the next. Month. You know that kind. Of, those kind of stuff. So I thought about this. I'm like, nah, man. Um, I need to. And I think one of the good things about trading is uh, you can do this anywhere. Anywhere. You want. Anywhere. Yeah. It does not matter. It's in North Russia. You trade with people all over Africa. Globally, you know, you do it all around. That means you have got people trading with him everywhere. So this does not stop. You can earn money from anywhere. So if you are watching this video and you want to start trading, I think you should take this one step right now. Um, would you advise people to take risk? If, if you're not taking risk, why, why, why are you on this end? Yeah. Tell, them, tell them about risk. Um, so so the, the idea to not take a risk in itself is the greatest risk, right? Uh, all, of, all of life is wow. risk. Um, and you know the interesting thing about people who look at our job as risky? These are people who can trust and sit in airplanes and go 40,000 feet. And they don't know the risk they've taken, but they've accepted that risk. Exactly. They enter a car every day. Um, it's I think it's one in four hundred, four hundred chance that you yes. get an accident every day, and people take that. Risk. And then going to restaurants to eat. To eat. How, how, how you, sure are you that you're the risk that you'll be poisoned? Though you know, so every single thing is a risk, and not taking a risk is in itself the greatest risk. Um, would we advise people to take risk? Uh, who not taking risk? <laughs> as, 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 yeah. as you don't know, take, who we get? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, everybody sitting right here to get to the top. You know, you must have taken some crazy risk. There will be some time you be on trade and you just want to risk 100% of your account to make good money. <laughs> I'm sure it has happened to everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, right? everybody. And sometimes it goes bro. If it goes well, you laugh, you're, <laughs> you're happy. And if it goes bad, yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> the well, thing is, start again. before you take any risk, you have to accept the outcome. Yeah. You know, the two possible outcomes. Two possible outcomes. It's either it goes well or it goes bad. So if, if you think it's not going to go well and you are going to complain, cry, you know, then don't take the risk in the first place. Just like getting into a trade, you know, you have less than a $1,000 account and you want to risk 100%. If you lose the trade, you're losing, you're blowing the account. Are you ready to blow the account? No. If you're not ready to blow the account, don't even get into the trade in the first place. Save, save yourself, save your stress. You get so, me? So, so that messed up with the psychology. Yes. Right. Start being emotional. And Accept trend. what you are getting yourself into. into. So if you want, if you if you, uh, if you want to be if you want to be strong minded in trading, I think first thing you should know is oh well, you're taking the risk. Another question for both of them, and I know you guys too want to ask this question, right? So people that have been losing trade, right? If we haven't lost it back to back, there are the times of like want to give up right you know it's normal right when you're looking, something's not making step for you you just want to give up right what would you advise this people or what do you think the solutions to be to them you know i always tell people this that in life sometimes give up <laughs> sometimes, listen. Sometimes. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> give up. And I'm not here to tell you that don't give up. Keep fighting. Nah, man. Sometimes give up. You know, I've seen people quit medical school to do photography. Wow. They did what they did, and they are doing so well in photography than what being in med school. Yeah. I've seen people quit a lot of jobs to get into some. Some people even have certificate. Let's say they, they go to school to, to study economy, mm -hmm. but they are not practicing as an economist. I know people, you know, who, who, who went to school to do you know medicine, um, pharmacy, and 
to date, they are doing something different. They are doing business and stuff. So, in life, sometimes you have to quit. Trading is not for everyone. Listen, it's not for everyone. It may not be for you. Some people can't take the risk. Whenever they lose, they become so emotional. They, you know, it's like it's it's like someone is is. Is on their necks, like it's like we are forcing them. <laughs> There's one popular video uh, I, I saw online, like uh, trading is not for kids. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 it's not so. No. It, it, in life, sometimes quits. If it's not for you, bro, it's not for you. Find something else to do. It could that that could even help you than being in it, being doing this, this thing. This thing is not for everyone. So that's point number one. My second point is if you are ready to also get into this. If you tell yourself that this is for me and I still want to do this, then that is where the, that's where the whole conversation of you know you have to be determined, you have to be consistent, you have to keep on. That's where I can advise you that Step don't sources, you know yeah. don't stop, keep doing it. But if you are not, you've not tuned your your mindset to keep on doing this, then bro, give up. This is not for you. Wow. Very simple. Yes, <laughs> so come, no, what, what, what have you talking? I totally agree with him. I think that the only. Yes, sir other side I would, I would take is it, for those who are determined to do it understand that the market takes and the market gives if the market is even giving you all the time be scared maybe the cia is looking for you <laughs> <laughs> but the market always gives and the market takes for you a market, in the it, market. It, it, that's how it is um whenever you have a streak of losses maybe take a pause take a break Go refresh your knowledge, reconnect with new people, do something that will refresh your energies and get back at it. Um, for, for me, and I think for everybody on this table, once you get a taste of, like you said, the freedom, the ability to literally generate money out of thin air, I don't think you should leave it for anything else, unless, of course, you are part of the people Elvis described, then you should quit <laughs> and do lesson or something. But the market takes, the market gives. Um, get back at it and then re refresh your. I, I have totally, I have totally agree with both of them. But well, yeah, is my own perspective, right? In this whole trading, we all didn't bring it from heaven, right? So there's just one particular thing that's different. We getting the knowledge. You have to get the knowledge if you want to be good in this, right? Now it's a matter of if it's going bad for you, right? There's something you're not doing right. So you need to make sure like you're correcting that stuff. You need to realize what you're not doing right. And that's the difference from the successful and probably the one that's not successful. Discovering your mistakes, what you're not doing right, is knowledge. So if you're probably losing or you're learning on your own, you need something, I would advise you to get a mentor, right? Chase after a mentor, get the knowledge from him. Like for me, when I started, I, 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 I bought a course then but i didn't even use what i learned in the course right. but i must tell you that the course what expanded my knowledge in the forest deep, deep 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 yeah right now I, I, from there that's when i was able to develop what i come with so like if you join the mentorship course sometimes it might not be favorable to you in that moment right but one way or the other it will develop something it will strip out something in you because what you're exposing to you you're seeing more deep of it, right? So, for me, I'll never advise anybody to give up because nobody brings this from heaven. Success, you can all get to the top, right? So, another question, which is gonna be the last question. We don't wanna take much of your time. For both of you, for people in newbie or people just looking to start trading, whether stock, crypto, forex, what would be advice you give them? Come to me first. <laughs> Go enjoy Elvis Justice's VIP and mentorship. And come and pay for Habib's VIP and mentorship. And come and pay for money. That's all. <laughs> so, Get the knowledge. Yeah, follow somebody who's great. Follow somebody who has a track record of, of results. Um, and follow them. Uh, follow who no road. That's all I'll say to you. Great, great, great. Evans, whatever. Follow who no road. Follow who no road. You know, follow who no road. You know, like this, I've got literally all these uh, IG gurus. Uh, Look at Michael. Show, show, show Michael. Oh. Oh. That's it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
have his justice, have first, and future respond, right? You know, I bet you the next time, the next time I'm going to meet you again, I'm going to Ozu. You know how <laughs> <laughs> you know, the promise. You know, right? I think maybe I'm the sexiest for us to know. Is it ever? <laughs> 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 Don't try that. See, zero part.